Hey guys, it's uh, John from Team Glad MST here with Brian. He's going to give you guys an update on his Fire Fist deck. I know he has an, uh, maybe we're going to put one out there in a bit, so uh, here it is. Staying strong. All right. The mandatory three bear. Uh, it's just bear. He is vital in the deck. Uh, destruction effects are getting less and less prevalent, especially with Shadal's like around the corner, but besides Midrash, he doesn't, he's not too bad against. Uh, hopefully, Hat dies down so he can actually do things against, hopefully hands die down so he can actually do things, but we'll see. Still fetches you a fire formation spell, pops a monster, still really good. Uh, triple Leopard, probably the second best thing in the deck. Hopefully I'm st still waiting for that super rare reprint the new tins. Uh, oh my god, he better be the super. I would be pissed if he wasn't the super. It'll be Rooster, I already know it. Uh, Leopard is still really vital for the spirit combo, just getting you a fire formation. He's mandatory at three. Uh, newest change is actually Triple Rooster. Because what? It's really, well, the, it's, what? I put Rooster to three because I need to, like, change the monster count so I didn't draw, like, no, because at Nats and at just playing around, I realized how little I actually draw into monsters, and I need to actually, like, put in real monsters, so... I bumped Rooster up to three, and I bumped another card up to three. That sounds I'll show like a you mistake. Later. I thought I thought double Rooster opening double Rooster was like the bane of your Yu-Gi-Oh career. Well, I've changed up something, so opening it's not as terrible right. anymore. Right. So I'll show you later why I changed. Um, I bumped Gorilla up to two. It's not terrible. It's not bad either. It's just it feels right. I mean, I never really. I mean, I haven't really opened double of him yet, but he's not. He's not too bad. I sometimes wish it was bear instead, but I can't run four bear. But he's just there because I need more monsters. It makes going into Cardinal a little easier. He's just a good, helps the rank four engine. Just nice hit. More than one now. And then I'm playing one boar because I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to change the monster count around. And boar, while not being too great of a card, he's still really good because if you have, if you open all spell and traps and just him, you can at least set him. And if they attack over him, you'll get to a bear or something. So you'll have possibly a turn for next player, or at least keep a monster on board. But he's also the level 4 tuner for the deck, and he makes Crimson Blader, which is kind of becoming better and better as the time goes by. So Crimson Blader might be relevant soon. Makes going into Cardinal easier, like I said, with the double gorilla. He's just a good monster to have. And then the one spirit and the one wolf bark, because they're both at one, because Konami hates this deck. Bring them back. On to the spells. Uh, I still play Triple MST. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't still. I mean, yeah, like Light Swarms or something, it kind of sucks. Or MSTing a fucking artifact kind of sucks, but it's just this deck has to fight through back row, so you don't want to duel against back row game one and not be able to push through it. Um, triple Tanky, because I left my ulti tankies at home. Because I'm hideous. I've been playing around with the supers for some reason, just oh, mixing I, it up. And people let you search off of them? Sometimes. Only, only sometimes. Uh, it's just tanky. It's at three. He played at three. This is what I've changed. I've gone triple Tensu, actually, because um. that's why I run triple Rooster, because now everything... If I open Rooster and essentially anything, like, it makes it just makes plays more live with your hands, especially now with the less draw rule. This makes the Horse Prince combo first turn more possible, more consistent, and it just... Like, if I have even just one... If I open just Rooster and Tensu, it's and other bullshit it's not that bad like it's actually pretty good what you... actually made you decide to like bump rooster and tensu up because like you never used to like that so like what made you decide to change well my logic behind tensu is that you always run if, if you the more monsters you run in the deck you run more tensu and everything in the deck now the main monster lineup is all beast warriors so essentially with any sort of monsters tensu is never dead in this deck as opposed to when i was running like i tried playing with the hands and i tried uh maining thunder king for a little bit but like i would open like thunder king and tensu and it just didn't do shit so the more copies of rooster or the more copies of tensu you run the more copies of rooster you can run and kind of get away with it so it's not that bad so triple tensu i also found myself running out of fire formation sometimes in grind games and mm -hmm. that kind of alleviates from it still playing the double gyoku because like i said you want to get through back row and this just also helps it's a searchable way to deal with back row it's really good it's makes this is what makes going second now for fire fist really good because it's like sure you are i get one more card on you and i have a archetype specific card that i can search that lets me get through your back row sure like have that's fine about running two mst and three gyoku 
No, because MST is just more reactive. Like, I mean, this is a bad example, but if somebody plays a, a tanky on me, I can just MST it. Or if anybody, like, MST is still just better, but Yoku is just good because you can search it out. And just because it does, like I said, help alleviate from going second. But you, no, you don't want 3 MST is still better over it because you have to. I mean, why? You could have MST the warning instead of trying to summon the rooster and swap the Tensu for the Gyoku and they just warning the monster or something anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't necessarily want that over MST all the time, but like I said, helps. Uh, double Lance, just because you don't... I, there's no reason not to run Double Lance in this deck. Being able to beat over some monsters, being able to protect your your summons, it's just so fucking vital. Like, it's there's no reason not to play this card at more than at least two. I, I kind of want to bump it up to three, but I don't because it's it's only good when you have monsters, so it's not that great. But there are times where I, I feel like I don't see it as much as I should. And then I'm main decking one mind control. It's just really good. It's going to be really good still, I think, when Shadals come out because you can just take the Midrash and then you can bear, I can bear poppy the Midrash because it only says your opponent's mod. It cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Pretty good. Um, The traps. uh, Double wiretap because... It's just good. Helps get through that back row, like I said, but it's also just good for stopping some traps. It's, I mean, it's wiretap. It's, I feel like it's really good still. Uh, I main deck two Vanny's Emptiness just because I like to be able to stop summons. I don't necessarily, I don't like main decking Blackhorn. Just, I mean, it's a counter trap, but I like being able to stop cards like Soul Charge or, um, there's a few others, but I like being able to just stop plays instead of waiting for you to go into. I, I don't like you putting monsters on board. And then going into the extra deck, like I'd rather just stop you from even getting the monsters on the field in the first place. Um, two D prison. I don't really see the need to play three, at least in this deck. I mean, I'm sure in some decks it's viable. I kind of want to like start trying to play around with Mirror Force again because I like Mirror Force better. But I don't think the hands have cooled down enough for you to be able to play Mirror Force like really, really effectively. But some people do slide by like teching in one or something and being able to get up catch people by surprise with it but for now i still like 2d prison just to make sure i get through the hands um i'm playing double fiendish chain and one breakthrough just because i wanted a little more variety i re i noticed i had fiendish chain at three but when i used it at three i was clogging up my back row way too much with the fiendish chains and the fire formations but so i like to i tried just putting in the breakthrough as the third one just for effect negation and it seems it, it works pretty well i, I actually kind of like the setup Although, when Shadal's come out, I might go back to 3 Phoenix Chain just because being able to stop Midrash from killing my bear and winning and making it killable or bear poppable is pretty good. You wouldn't rather have the extra breakthrough skill? Not necessarily, because if I don't have a monster on the field, I'm fucked. So, if, bear, if that bear on the field is the only thing I've got going for me, if you doesn't matter how many breakthrough skills I've got, I can't do anything if it's already killed. Oh well, yeah, well, I mean, it's just like Dragon Pop, Phoenix Chain. Oh well, yeah. Like, uh, dragon, yeah. Uh, then one bottomless, the warning and the torrential, just well, it's the staple traps, all really good. Uh, torrential, I'd swap out for compulse once Shadal's come out if they're big enough, just because it doesn't really do anything against them. It's a little bit more versatile. It might be more versatile against the other decks too, but specifically Shadal's, if depending on how well they take off. Very, right, because that should be an awful matchup for you. Yeah, I don't know. People say it's bad, but it's not that terrible. That's also why I'm running triple tensu to make uh my Shadal match up a little bit better because with triple tensu I can just go off and get into cardinal or anything i don't have to special summon like with wolf barks or with my wolf bark or something stupid like i don't have to over i can overextend a little with normal summons instead of overextending with special summons and fucking losing the midrash oh god triple tensu makes that majesty so you play live as fuck too now i just thought about yeah that. yeah that's what, I, that's what i'm saying uh extra deck double tiger king still i still like it at two there's not really a reason for me to take it down at the moment but uh, there's only really like one or two cards I would actually want to play, but for now, Double Tire King is pretty effective. Obviously, it's the ace of the deck. It gets you any fire formation. I like going Wolf Bark into, if I've got Tanky or Tensu, I like going Wolf Bark into Tiger King into like one of the others and then using it to like gain off the Spirit and Wolf Bark combo both in one turn. It's just stupid. Tiger King's like probably my favorite exceed ever. One Cardinal, just because uh, I don't run Soul Charge and you can make him kind of easy because I run so many Fire Fist level fours now, but you don't really need him for the extra deck space. Like I mean, if they have the out to him, they probably were gonna they were gonna have the out anyway. So you probably won't be able to make another Cardinal because usually when you go into this thing, it's because you're about to win. It's actually really good against the Lightsworn Ruler matchup because 
you get back, you put Eclipse Wyverns back into the deck so they lose their JDs forever. It's pretty funny, actually. And you summon it in defense and, uh, fucking, what's his name? Uh, 101 can't even beat over him. He's got too big of an ass. Um, one Kagasuchi. It's the tank. It's our Beast Warrior Maestro. Sometimes the mills suck, but it's still really, really good. Um, 101, I mean, obvious, it's 101. Crazy box for the skill drain matchup. I don't know if I even want to play. I might take him out. There's, like I said, there's only like one or two things I'd actually play right now, but I don't know how prevalent skill drain is anymore. But you never want to run into that option or into that situation where you don't have him for the skill drains. Um, Extinction Knight, obvious. Fragna Zero, good for the mirror, good for Medulce's. Anything that runs a field spell besides fucking uh, Sylvan's, because the I think that's like the only field spell that's relevant right now that doesn't get stat boosts. It's true. Fucking thing sucks to run into, though. Like, I hate this card so much, but <laughs> it just wins again. It kind of can auto win against some decks, so there's no reason not to play it. Hate it, though. Uh, Abyss Dweller. Just be, I think Abyss Dweller is really fucking good. Like, it's just a good-ass fucking card. Heartland Draco, uh, really fucking good. Really, really good, actually. Can steal games. Gaga Cowboy for going for game. Want that ulti one. Astro Pack 5. And then for the only rank 3 I run is uh, Lion Emperor, just to recycle Spirit and Wolf Park and all that shenanigans. You don't really need to play two. He's like with Cardinal. Like, you don't really, like, you kind of, you probably are slightly overextending when you make him anyway, but it'll pay off big. But if they have the out, there, I mean, they've got the out. No Rhapsody and Missouri? No, I don't really like, I don't like it. It's too hard for us to make. I mean, Gears could used to be able to spam it out when Gear Gear, Gear was at three, and like Bujins can kind of make it easy. But I don't, it's not that easy to make in no. Fire Fist. It's like a, that'd be like oh, it's a, a Wolf Bark play. But you have to have an Exceed already on board. So it's like a, he has to equip to an Exceed, doesn't he? I mean, yeah, but usually we, you just use them to banish, like, your opponent's light sworn targets or so. Then yeah, I guess. Just whatever that's true. Targets but, are. eh, I just don't think it's that good there. You could run Alucard or two if you want to run more rank threes, but I kind of do, like, that is kind of one of the only things I do want to run. I want to run more rank threes for better situations because I run more level threes, but I don't know. Uh, then the Synchros are Vulcan, or, yeah, Vulcan for the Spirit Plague. It's a good bounce card. I like it a lot. Uh, and then Horse Prince. Horse Prince is just fucking... You don't need it at more than one. I don't know why people play it at two. Like, I, I can kind of get the logic, but it's not that good. Like, it's just a beat stick. He gets you pluses, but they're all bullshit pluses, so you only need him at one. If they stop the Horse Prince play, I mean, good for them, I guess. I've never lost because they stopped Horse Prince plays. I've I've literally never lost because of that. I've usually just lost because the hands my hands were already bad enough. <laughs> uh and then I'm running Crimson Blader because if you run Boar, you run Crimson Blader. I'm waiting for him to be able to put in work. Um, oh man, you mean Goyle's not a big Warrior? Unfortunately not. I yeah, I wish he was. I could make him with Spirit. Side deck, um, Double Dusty just for a Rogue that I can't get through back row. Um, two rivalry. I just kind of threw this in. I'm a little short on space right now, but uh. Good for Medulce's, Evil Swarms, Constellars. Nice for some reason I can't beat Evil Swarms with this build. This build is really hard for me to beat Evil Swarms with, and I don't know why. It's not like I'm sitting there with Spirit plays in my hand and I can't do them. It's like, I just don't understand why I cannot. Even, I let them go first. I just, for some reason, I cannot beat Evil Swarms now. It's really weird. I mean, I can beat them, but my one friend keeps destroying. He doesn't destroy me. I actually, I draw really bad. I think game three today at Locals... I let him go second for some fucking reason, game three, and I opened Rooster, double MST, and Dust Tornado and Bottomless, and he summons Thunderbird, and it was basically over from there. He made Ragna Zero. It really sucked. Friends don't friends don't let friends make Ragna Zero. <laughs> uh double light imprisoning. Just for the Light Sworn matchup and Bujins, because I have a Bujins is my hands down worst matchup. I hate Bujin playing Bujins, especially when they go first. Worse than hat? Well, I mean Hands are a bad match. Hands are an engine is a bad matchup. Bujins are a bad archetype matchup, I guess. Probably, probably gonna fit Shadow Imprisonings in here once uh, if Shadals take off. Uh, double Blackhorn, because anything that Vanities isn't good against, Blackhorn is. So just take out the Vanities for the Blackhorns. You could honestly, you could like main deck this, these over the others, but I just kind of personally like Vanities right now a little better, especially when. 
It'll also be good against your dolls because they'll go Shadal Fusion and you go Vanities, and it's like, okay, you there, there you go. One Soul Drain. I kind of want to main deck this for when things start coming out. Yeah. Like, after Duel's Alliance, I kind of want to main deck this, but I don't, like, it, it might be worth it. I'm thinking Maybe, about it. I mean, Shadal's, Mermail, Sylvan's, uh, Fuck uh, out. Pat, What's his uh, name? Uh, the Cosmic Dragons. Don't they? Cosmic Dragons. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be Basically. Um, then... Oh no, man, for right now, I guess Gravekeepers, uh, Gears, anything that might set a hand on me, because they're fucking, I hate the hands, but specifically Shadal's, it'll rate pretty well too, so that's an added bonus. Two Creature Swap for Bujins, Noble Knights, anything that you need to get around targeting and want their monster. Uh, the Defissure, just because it's really good. Can't mean, can't play macro, and then... Right now, I'm only playing one Majesty's Fiend because I only have one copy. I'm waiting for my second one to come in the mail, but I would definitely... I'm going to play two Majesty's Fiend once I get the other one. I'd probably take out... my change around something with Dust Tornado or uh, Rivalry. But, yeah, two Majesty's Fiend because um, you go basically... This kills a lot of decks. It kills our deck too, but it'll kill the deck harder. Like, Hat loses to this until they get over it, and then by then I have a nice build-up too, so it's like kind of just a nice stale card or a stall card, but... It's easy to use in this deck because you go Tensu, Tensu summon anything, and then just you get a, you still have your normal summon for the and you just tribute for the Majesty's Fiend. Like it's just really easy to do. Well, there's that. Alright, well uh thanks for the profile. Um so are you, you are you planning on changing this at all once Duelist Alliance comes out or uh, I mean nothing from Duelist Alliance I'm gonna is gonna make me change it or I'm not gonna change anything that's coming from At least in the main deck rather. I'm not I mean, gonna, obviously side decks is going to change. But. I'm not going to change anything for and put in stuff coming out in Duelist Alliance, but I just have to see how the format plays out right. for and see how what becomes prevalent because I feel like this deck can kind of, at the moment, I can kind of adapt to anything. I just don't know what's going to be really big right now. I'm kind of preparing for Shadals to be big, but, I mean, Cosmic Dragons, it's going to be suck to go Bear Pop for them too, but at the same time, it's like I've kind of been playing with Bear not being that great for a while, so I'll get around it. I know this is kind of unrelated, but I cannot wait to just play Bushins against Cosmic Dragons and just be pretty fun through everything. But yeah, all right. Well, thanks guys for watching. Uh, leave me any questions or comments below, and uh, I think we got that. We're going to have a Mermail profile. I know someone asked for it. We'll probably have that Saturday. So uh, yeah, just check check back in Saturday. All right, thanks. It's uh, John and Brian signing out.